when it rains, it pours for Oklahoma State in terms of injuries. Tom Hutton, the starting punter, he's calling it quits. He had an injury during that game last week against Kansas State. And he, he's a 32-year-old punter from New, Newborough, Australia. And he's a senior. He could have come back to Oklahoma State for one more year of eligibility, but he's already calling it, no, I'm going to leave after this year, after May. So, to explain his loss, it is the following. He had 44 punts this year for 1,929 yards. The long is 53 yards this year. The average is 43.8. One touchback, 12 fair caught, 18 punts went inside the 20-yard line, while 7 punts went further than 50 yards. So, yeah, really good punter. Now they're going to have to figure out who's going to be their punter now. And you know what? Oklahoma State could very, very well lose this Saturday to Kansas, if we're being completely honest here. They're banged up. They could eat. I'm gonna. I'm pretty sure. I know they for sure got Oklahoma, and that's a Norman. But I mean, I know they got West Virginia at, at the very end, and maybe they should win that game. But I don't know, because West Virginia's offense, you know, I know they're without C.J. Donaldson, but the pass defense of Oklahoma State is not that good. It's not that good and they do have Iowa State the following week I mean after Kansas but that's at home Iowa State's offense not that good but I'm not sure Oklahoma State's going to lose to them but the only two games I could think of on top of my head that they could lose this Saturday to Kansas then Oklahoma per usual until, of course, I'm just saying that because Oklahoma historically owns Oklahoma State most of the time. So, and I mean, it's the truth. Even that 2013 year, Oklahoma beat Oklahoma State. And Oklahoma State was so good that year in 2013. West Virginia is just going to be a... It, it, West Virginia is a different team on the road than at home. I'm just saying what it is here. I mean, but they still have a good offense. You got to admit that when they have time. And JT Daniels could exploit that pass defense for Oklahoma State. And we don't know how banged up Spencer Sanders is. I know he got hurt in the last game. So, I don't know. I just want to talk about this news for Oklahoma State here because it is a, I'm just, it's an important position. I know it, it might not be important to y'all, some of y'all, but special teams do, do matter. It's important to have a good punter. He's a good one and he's already calling it quits and not coming back next year, regardless. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's give me the 400 subscribers and more by the end of this year or sometime in the future. 